This is gonna be a two part video series where I am going to attempt to make a garden for Cinnabon. I have literally no idea what we're planting today. Hope you're good in <laughs> <I> there. <know. laughs> Hello buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. Welcome to my gardening series. This is going to be a two part video series where I am going to attempt to make a garden for Cinnabon. I am not messing around. I am bringing in a pro to help me make this garden. My name is Hannah and I am one of Morgan's college besties and I started my first backyard garden in 2020 and I'm going to help Morgan and Cinnabon. Oh, there she is. She just poked out from the chair. So I truly am coming from zero knowledge about plants. I know what herbs Cinnabon can eat, but I do not know how to take care of them. But lucky for me, Hannah has spent a lot of time researching the types of herbs that Cinnabon can eat, how to grow them, and where to plant them in the bed. Uh, but my plan and my thought is to do a mix of like some tomatoes, which would be mostly for you and Bryant, then just a bunch of herbs that Cinnabon and you guys can also enjoy. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out where this garden is going to go. So we are looking around to see where the best area will be that's gonna get a lot of sunlight. The type of garden I wanna make is a four by four raised bed, which really just means the garden will be on the ground, but there are four pieces of wood that block it off so it's raised up a little bit. All of the things that we're gonna be planting need direct sunlight. So we had to figure out where in the backyard got about eight hours of sunlight a day. I mean, I honestly, I really like this area, but I'm, I am concerned about the amount of tree cover. I'm concerned about this and this and not getting enough morning sun. So let's we'll hop over to you to explore. <laughs> We did land on two potential ideas that we thought. One right next to the Cinnabon shed that got just about enough sunlight, and then another back by my patio that we also thought could work. So what I'm gonna do over the next few days is just keep an eye on both areas and see which area gets more sun. Now that we've figured out where the garden bed is gonna go, it's time to actually get the garden bed. So it's time to take a little road trip. Okay, so we are en route to Lowe's. Hannah has been actively doing everything for us. <laughs> like, I have literally no idea what we're planting today. So she said that she had a list of herbs that she wanted to go over. Parsley, basil, mm -hmm. mint, mm -hmm. cilantro. Mm -hmm. I know she eats that. Mm -hmm. um, she eats all this. We are going to get seedlings, not seeds. Okay, um, I think like little sprouts? Yeah, just because I think those are foolproof. Oh yeah, I don't wanna just be like watering like, okay. Right. <laughs> Hope you're good in I there. <laughs> I always get so intimidated by home improvement stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, everything, but having Hannah by my side and her having a mission was super helpful. We're gonna look for a raised bed kit. The first stop was the garden bed section where we would figure out exactly what kind of bed we were gonna use. We got this little DIY kit that looked easy enough to put together, but now it's time for the fun stuff, which is finding the plants. There's really no rhyme or reason. It's simply on vibes. That's just right. like whichever one speaks to me. <laughs> Gardening tip. <laughs> so something that Hannah told me that I didn't even know was a thing is that you really need to research the plants and herbs in your garden and make sure that the herbs and plants that you're planting them next to aren't going to negatively impact them. So for instance, dill and tomato do not like each other, so you wanna plant them far away. But basil and tomato can actually help each other grow, so it's nice to plant them next to each other. So we are gonna be planting tomatoes in the garden, and a big reason behind that is Hannah said that having a tall towering plant, like a tomato plant, can be really helpful in the summer because it creates some shade for your herbs that in the south, we get a lot of sun and it can be harsh for them. So it's nice to have some natural shade that's not fully encompassed like the giant trees in my yard. The plants we ended up getting were basil, dill, parsley, tomato, cucumber, jalapeno, that's for us, cilantro, and we also got marigold because marigold can help repel against pests. Our next stop was the soil. So we are gonna be mixing three different types of soil together, topsoil, compost soil and potting soil. Compost is full of nutrients and moisture, so it's really beneficial to your plants. Potting soil is enriched with these little like pearlite beads that are filled with fertilizer, so it's just good for your plants as well. And then topsoil is just your traditional soil, so we're mixing the three of those together. 
And our last stop was the gardening tool section where we picked up a shovel, a little hand shovel, and a hoe, as well as some super cute bumblebee gardening gloves because that was the part I was most excited about were the fun garden gloves. So our total was about $200, but Hannah told me what is nice is that each year with your garden bed, the only thing you need to replenish are your plants. So now that I have all of this equipment, I really just need to buy the plants each year. We made our way home and decided to go ahead and put our garden bed together so that when we were ready to plant, we would have all of our pieces in place. The particular bed we got was really easy to put together. The only hard part is we had to drill the screws in and there weren't holes already pre-drilled, so I just used my power drill to drill some holes and then it was super easy. And with that, my four x four little Cinnabon garden has been prepped. We have all of our equipment and now all that's left to do is actually create the garden. But that is where I'm going to leave us for today. So stay tuned for next week where we are going to actually take all of these pieces and create my perfect Cinnabon garden. If you like this series and you are really rooting for me to keep these plants alive, give this video a big like. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss next week's episode. And with that, thank you so much for watching today's video. I cannot wait to see what happens in the next one and I'll see you next week. Bye buns.